которым идет себя честно по отношению к с остальными не сотрудничают. Ну, извините, вы погодите. А, и может прийти в, к министру внутренних дел Нургалиеву. Comments also for the panelists, but please. So there are two questions. I have already registered two questions uh, from there. Please. Olga Radaeva, Yablok. Olga Radaeva, Yablok. Collapse of Russia. You also evoked the Arab Spring and other interesting events. However, the Prime Minister told us that this uh, almost on daily basis in in our relationships uh, with Russia Federation. And now, um, last but not least, we have uh, you because your straightforward ideas and, and brave speech um, brings um, always people back on the ground. Сотрудничество, взаимодействие только в деле сменяемости власти или идти на контакт там, где ты считаешь чего-то можно добиться. In, in, in the 70s, there was already the uh, Helsinki process that was the beginning of, uh, of uh, yeah, the recognition of human rights and, and, and democracy in, in the uh, former uh, Soviet Union. And uh, uh, we thought it is absolutely necessary to, uh, to do it again, to have a, a Helsinki 2.0, because uh, for the moment there is a, uh, an enormous problem in Russia. There is a lack of democracy, there is, a, uh, there is also uh, a lack of uh, rule of uh, uh, law in, 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 in Russia. And, and, and we needed to be uh, outspoken on that. We needed to... Uh, uh, to uh, alarm the international uh, community uh, that action is needed towards Russia. First of all, uh, uh, to put uh, the question uh, on uh, the agenda of, uh, of uh, the next summits with, uh, with Russia. There are two times a year summits between the European Union and Russia. So that's a good opportunity to raise the question, to put it on the agenda. Secondly, we are talking with the Russians on the uh, uh, facilitation uh, of the visa uh, regime. And uh, also that uh, could be uh, uh, one of the points of the agenda. So uh, we, we go forward in, uh, in, the, in visa uh, liberalization and facilitation, but only if from the Russian side they are also reforming. Uh, a number of things uh, uh, towards big, more democracy and towards uh, more respect for, for fundamental rights. Uh, Russian governments, uh, Russian state committed itself just to be a part of the Council of Europe and to be a part of OECE and uh, these two important organizations just provide for certain obligations of the countries to have elections free and fair. And there is a very clear description what those democratic elections should be about. And of course, the issue number one, point number one, free access of all political forces, of all people to elections. That's what happened in Russia within uh, five last, uh, five, for four or five years, no single independent party has been registered. No registration of new parties. Registration of a political party in Russia means access to elections. And... Uh, my party three times tried to get registration, access to elections, and we all time we were rejected. And Parnas, it's a recent example, it was the last attempt of democratic opposition, a real opposition, to participate in election, to use this constitutional mechanism of having an influence of authority and just to participate for people, participate in forming the political course of um, uh, the country. And this attempt failed again because on uh, technical uh, aspects, on the political grounds, but using uh, technical reasons, we again were denied on registration and participate in elections. These elections cannot be viewed as free. These elections cannot be viewed as fair. 
contrary, these elections are contrary to international obligations of the Russian Federation and to constitution of Russia. Uh, that so-called Arab Spring could potentially appear in Russia similar developments in a period of, say, five years. If uh, no changes from normal methods take place, in this case, uh, negativism and protests among um, the people and uh, unacceptab unacceptability by, uh, by people of all those developments could uh, merge and could uh, mature to the stage that uh, some kind of um, uh, spring um, uh, could, uh, could appear in our country. We try to do our best to prevent the, such developments. That's why we have to create such a public pressure on this authority so that to put them to the round table and to negotiate the civilized way how they should, uh, through free elections, uh, to escape, to, to build up an, an exit strategy for these people and just uh, have a free elections and let people understand that the country we live in, the Russian Federation, is, is our country.